page and we will get our definition going this morning. Has everybody got that? Okay. It doesn't look like it's a review unit or anything. These look like some new words. So let's go ahead and get it going. Our first one. Oh, <clears throat> there's some talking in the back there. Okay. And I think that that's just kind of an unsound way to be. Unsound. I'll zoom that in so you can see. Um, if the carnival ride is unsound, I'm not getting on it. What does that mean, Tyler? No, not in good condition. Not sturdy enough. Good. Like bad condition, not put together well. Damage. It's an adjective. Okay, so poor condition. Damaged. I'm always amazed how they can set up those carnival rides so quickly and tear them down and go to the next town. Okay, damaged or decayed. Mm -hmm. So let's see, what kind of a sentence can we do for unsound? Link. Unsound condition. Good. The condition of the car was unsound. Yes. There you go. All right. So you should be copying this down. <clears throat> All right. Next up, frugal. Yes, you all know my embarrassing story at the yard sale with my mom about the cheese grater that cost how much? Um, Ten cents. Ten cents. And she wanted to get it for five. five cents. And it was the boy that I had a crush on, and I just wanted to, like, disappear. She was very frugal. She wanted a deal. Yes. Adjective. So, not spending money. Cheap, you could say. Yes. Very careful or conservative with your spending habits. Somebody that, you know, has all those coupons and they're always looking for that deal, they are very frugal. So let's see. Uh, Callum, can you do a sentence for frugal, please? Adjective be, meaning something new, like that's a novel idea, but we're going to go with the thing. So, um, right, a novel is a long work of literature, so it's a noun, or they said extended work. If you write a short story, it's not a novel. In fact, some people think that The Outsiders is really a novella, which is a shorter version because it's only 180 pages. Only a novella pages. is a short novel, but um, a novel like Harry Potter is an extended work. So. Especially book five. Mm -hmm. Almost always fiction. Okay, so we could say, uh, Brandon, what's a sentence we could do for novel? Uh, Harry Potter is a great novel. Agreed. Harry Potter is a great novel. I'm loving reading it with you guys. It's going well. You need something? No, I'm waiting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Harry Potter is a great novel. Awesome. Okay. This next one, 
Um, it is, of course, a brand of car, but it's also something you can do. Okay? It means to cross a river or a stream, like we forded the creek to go across the waterway. Can I just put the best truck there? Uh -huh. Some people think it's the best, some think people think Ford is found on road dead, some think it's fast, it's on race day, it just depends on where Okay. <clears throat> Carson, how could we use Ford in a sentence? Uh, I got a truck light, but we had to ford the creek. Perfect. Yeah, I'm great. Chevy. Chevy's way better. It is. No, 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 no. I come from a yes, Chevy family, but yeah, we had to ford the creek. I drive a Ford right now. Ford is way better than Chevy. Way better. Okay, and back to it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, up next. Remote. Not talking about the thing that is used to change the channel, but the cabin was in a remote location. What does that mean? Remote. Tyler. Like, no cell phone. Inaccessible. Good. Isolated, off the beaten off the path. Grid. Uh huh. Okay. She lived in a remote village. Okay. Um, this next one is an onomatopoeia, and it's kind of a funny word to me. Uh, just. 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 Oh, um, a sudden movement. So if I'm going to just out in front of you, yeah, it means to like lurch or to go ahead. Why does it just say move? Something like that. A sharp, sudden move. To lurch ahead, to jerk ahead. You jut it out. I feel like I have to make a sound effect every time I say lurch. You could say. The car jutted out in front of us. <clears throat> if we could keep the side talking down, that would be great. Almost there. Illuminate. The little minions, I always think of them. What does it mean to illuminate something? Natalie, do you know? Um, to light up. Uh-huh. Yes, illuminate means to give light or to light up. We illuminated the tree. Hopefully we will today. Like I said, our tree is in the house, but it is not decorated at all. So. Am I going too fast or are we okay? okay. I'm okay. All right. Revive. We have to revive the patient. We must do it. We have to revive the deer. What do you think that means? To bring back. Yep, to bring back to life. We need to revive the deer. You did not. To revive. Just a reminder, you are on video. Those of you with little comments to the side. So yes, to bring back to life.
Um, we tried to revive the animal. Okay. And when the animal came back to life and said, hey, how you doing? I was dumbfounded. What do you think dumbfounded means? Um, surprised. Yep, shocked, speechless, exactly. Adjective. Speechless, shocked. What's up for The party left me dumbfounded like, what was that? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of waiting for the side talking to stop. Gauge. We're going to gauge the weather and see if we can still have the event or not. What does that mean? Read, read the weather. We're going to measure it to evaluate or to measure. Like, we'll gauge and see what we think about this. We had gauge last year. Yes. So we could say, we're, well, I've used we a lot, so he was going to gauge the situation, going to see how it goes. Okay. So there they are. I will also attach a picture of this to the video uh, at the end for those of you at home. And uh, now I'll give you guys a couple minutes to get started on your packet quietly in your spots and go.